This is Wizard Grandpa's Stories. <laughs> Ho, 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 ho. Hello, children. How nice to see you. Welcome to Wizard Grandpa's Stories. Today, we have something different for you. Today, we are out and about, exploring. And I'd like you to come with me to see some very special places in the wonderful Kingdom of Wales. <laughs> now, once upon a time, there was a fairy who lived in a forest. But she was not just any old fairy. She was a fairy princess. And she was used to being obeyed by all the fairies and spirits who lived in the forest. One day, she was traveling through the beautiful forests of Wales. And the forest stretched for miles and miles and everything was hers. So you can imagine her surprise when she came to a castle in the middle of the forest. Never had she been so furious to see the work of man in her forest. The fairy princess loved her forest and she cared for every single tree and flower and blade of grass that was in it. The animals of the forest, the spirits and fairies of the forest, all cared for it too. So imagine how the fairy princess felt when she saw some of her trees had been cut down. Who would do such a thing? Only man would dare to cut down her trees. Her fury rose within her, and she set off to find who had been cutting down the trees of her forest. She searched all through the forest and followed the sound of chop, chop, chopping of wood. And finally, she came to a castle. It was a beautiful castle, made of big white stone. It was a beautiful castle, white as could be. And in that castle there lived a prince. She looked through the window of the castle and saw the prince himself. Oh, he was so handsome. And she fell in love with him straight away. How could she be angry with such a handsome prince? So in her heart, there was a struggle, a battle. Her forest had been spoiled by the men, and yet she had fallen in love with the prince. The fairy princess crept around outside the castle. What kind of man was this prince that she'd fallen in love with. She looked in the beautiful garden. She looked at the beautiful flowers. And then she saw something that horrified her. She saw a stone fairy. How evil could this prince be to turn fairies into stone? Ah, oh, ah. Oh. You poor creature, she said. Who could do such an evil thing to you to turn you into stone? Surely this prince, fair though he was to look at, must himself 
have a heart of stone. She was determined to take revenge for the poor, poor creatures he had turned to stone. Poor fairy princess, how was she to know that these were not fairies? They were statues. She had never seen a statue before. How could she? She'd lived her whole life in the forest and had never seen the works of man. The prince loved beautiful things and great artists and had had many statues made for his castle and the grounds of his castle. The poor fairy princess, how was she to know? The fairy princess looked around at the prince's castle. It was enormous. How could anyone build something so great, so huge? How could men build anything so powerful? She was determined to take her revenge on the prince and yet couldn't see how it was possible. If men could build something so mighty as this castle, what on earth could she do against it? And then it came to her. The only thing more powerful than the works of man was nature itself. The forest had stood there infinitely longer than the castle. Its power was much greater than the power of man. Calling upon all the spirits and beings of the ancient forest, the fairy princess made the plants, the seeds, the flowers, the bushes and the trees grow and grow and grow. And so the forest took back the castle. The ivy grew to the highest turret. The branches of the trees poked through all of the windows. And stone by stone, nature took back its own. The prince had to leave all the people had to leave. And gradually, year by year, century by century, the castle returned to nature. This has been a wizard grandpa story, all the way from the Kingdom of Wales. Hello, Facebook. Thank you for liking me. Stay tuned for more installments of Wizard Grandpa's Stories. <laughs>